Lucas was an ordinary boy with an extraordinary imagination. At just ten years old, he spent hours daydreaming about his future, often telling his friends he would grow up to be a superhero or an astronaut. But Lucas had another, darker dream, one he never shared with anyone. He dreamt of becoming a serial killer. It started innocently enough, with Lucas sneaking peeks at his parents' collection of mystery novels and crime documentaries. The tales of elusive killers and their twisted minds fascinated him. He became obsessed, devouring every detail about infamous criminals and their gruesome deeds. What began as a morbid curiosity soon blossomed into a chilling ambition. In the privacy of his room, Lucas crafted elaborate fantasies where he was the star, a brilliant, untouchable killer who outwitted everyone. He sketched out plans, created code names, and even kept a journal filled with his thoughts on perfect crimes. The line between imagination and desire blurred as Lucas began to see his fantasies as achievable goals. One night, as Lucas drifted off to sleep, he had a vivid dream. In it, he was an adult, standing over a bound and terrified victim in a dimly lit room. The victim's eyes were wide with fear, pleading silently for mercy. Lucas felt a surge of power and control, unlike anything he'd ever felt before. In the dream, he raised a knife, feeling an eerie calmness wash over him as he made the final, fatal strike. When Lucas woke up, he was breathless and exhilarated. The dream felt so real, so right. He knew then that he wanted more than just to read about these dark figures, he wanted to become one. The thrill of the dream lingered, consuming his thoughts. It wasn't just about the act itself, it was about the control, the dominance over life and death. Days turned into weeks, and Lucas's fascination deepened. He began to act out his fantasies on insects and small animals, experimenting with different methods, finding a sick satisfaction in their helplessness. His friends noticed a change in him, he became distant, his once cheerful demeanor replaced with a cold, calculating gaze. One day, while wandering the woods near his home, Lucas stumbled upon an old, abandoned shed. It was perfect, isolated, hidden from view. He decided it would be his workshop, the place where he would bring his dark dreams to life. He began gathering tools and supplies, meticulously planning his first project. But as Lucas stood in the shed, staring at the tools laid out before him, a strange feeling crept over him. The excitement was there, but so was something else, doubt, fear, a nagging voice whispering that he was crossing a line from which he could never return. The dream that once filled him with thrill now felt like a dark, suffocating presence. As Lucas hesitated, a sudden noise snapped him out of his thoughts. He turned to see a stray dog standing at the entrance of the shed, looking at him with curious eyes. For a moment, Lucas felt a flicker of humanity, a connection to something real and living. He dropped the knife he was holding, the clatter echoing in the small space. The dog wagged its tail and approached cautiously. Lucas knelt down, reaching out to pet the animal. In that moment, he realized the horror of what he was becoming, the path he was about to take. 